October 29th, Substitution He made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 The modern view of the death of Jesus is that he died for our sins out of sympathy for us. Yet, the New Testament view is that he took our sin on himself not because of sympathy, but because of his identification with us. He was made to be sin. Our sins are removed because of the death of Jesus, and the only explanation for his death is his obedience to his Father, not his sympathy for us. We are acceptable to God, not because we have obeyed nor because we have promised to give up things, but because of the death of Christ, and for no other reason. We say that Jesus Christ came to reveal the fatherhood and the loving kindness of God, but the New Testament says that he came to take away the sin of the world. John 1, verse 29. And the revealing of the fatherhood of God is only to those whom Jesus has been introduced as Savior. In speaking to the world, Jesus Christ never referred to himself as one who revealed the Father, but he spoke instead of being a stumbling block. See John 15, verses 22 through 24. John 14, verse 9, where Jesus said, He who has seen me has seen the Father, was spoken to his disciples. That Christ died for me, and therefore I am completely free from penalty, is never taught in the New Testament. What is taught in the New Testament is that he died for all. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 15, not he died my death, and that through identification with his death I can be freed from sin and have his very righteousness imparted as a gift to me. The substitution which is taught in the New Testament is twofold. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The teaching is not Christ for me unless I am determined to have Christ formed in me. See Galatians 4 verse 19.